Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Cobra, also known as It's Miss K. Thank you so much for tuning in. All right, y'all. If it is your first time on my channel, I do create content revolving around budgeting, personal finance, money management. So if that's something that you're interested in, I would really appreciate it if you would consider subscribing. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and tackle our first money mindset talk. All right, so lately, most of the content that I have been uploading on my channel was really budgeting related. You would see me do my cash stuffing, budgeting my income, and you know, I'll give you guys updates in terms of my saving challenges. But in my previous video, I did mention, and I did ask you guys whether you'd be interested in money mindset talks. All right, so if you're familiar with my channel, you already know that I've been budgeting my income, showing you guys how I budget my income. I've been incorporating cash stuffings. I've been showing you guys my progress in terms of my saving challenges. So that's all of the technical part of things when it comes to my financial journey. But I wanted to share with you guys a few things that I do in terms of what has been helping me elevate my mindset and helping me approach my financial goals. That being said, I asked you guys whether you guys would be interested in watching me incorporate money mindset talks, which would serve the purpose of helping you and I elevate our mindset towards money, all right? When it comes to attaining a successful financial journey, a lot of it starts right here, all right? So today is going to be our first ever money mindset talks on the It's Miss Key channel. I was very excited. In today's video, I wanted to go ahead and share with you guys 10 things I personally have saw buying, which has tremendously helped me in terms of spending less money and saving more money. Of course, when it comes to saving money, you need to be able to cut down on a few things. And I'm going to share with you guys what I've decided to do or what I've been doing, to be honest. And before I go ahead and jump into it, y'all, a small disclaimer, if you do buy these things or if you still spend your money on these things, that's okay. This is just personal to my own journey that I have found has worked for me and facilitating and helping me within my whole financial journey. That being said, I'm not here to bash anybody. Yo, I got some bad habits too, right? So that being said, to each their own, I'm just telling you guys from my perspective what has helped me and maybe it could help you. But again, this is in no shape or form to attack anyone. And if you're doing those little things, it's okay. It really is, okay? So let me tell you, whew, I got my list right here, y'all. So there's a lot of things I do behind the scenes, y'all, when it comes to my financial training. I do keep a log on my notebook in terms of what i buy and what i don't buy what has been helping me and let me tell you y'all saving is not easy but cutting down a few things especially those repetitive small purchases has been a life changer for me all right the first thing y'all i'm not even gonna lie the first item on the list that i'm going to share with you guys that i have stopped buying for i would say at least going to nine months now is makeup Y'all, makeup used to be my guilty pleasure, y'all. I would feel like I would have to have every single product, every single new release that would come. Y'all, I'd be the first one to buy it, okay? Simply because, like, at that time as well, like, I would take in a lot of clientele and do people's makeup. I would, um, I was a content creator for makeup. So for me, it just became like such a rush to be buying a lot of makeup products. But y'all, I'm not even gonna lie, if I put a dent on maybe 5% of all the makeup products that I own, that would be a miracle. So makeup is something that I stopped buying y'all because it just did not serve me. I realized I was spending and splurging on so many products that I was not using. And that being said, y'all, I had so many issues with my skin. I had a lot of breakouts. I wouldn't be buying so many foundations, eyeshadow, serums, primers, lipstick. Oh yeah, lipstick. Um highlighters bronzers all that good stuff it's good it's it felt good to buy it but to be honest it made a huge dent in my pocket <laughs> that being said i would buy so many makeup products i would not even end up using it i would feel the need to keep it because it made me happy to just kind of grow my collection and that was the issue for me my purpose was to grow my collection at that time because i was like a makeup enthusiast and i was doing people's makeup so i felt like it just came hand in hand the only time I bought makeup, and that was like two or three months ago, was because I needed a new foundation. And I'm like, you know what? The ones I have are pretty old. I kind of want to try something new. So I got the Kat Von D foundation. But y'all, ever since, I have never spent a dollar on makeup. And I don't plan, to be honest, I don't plan on buying makeup anytime soon because I really want to go ahead and use the things I have 
and i want to make that a habit for me to use what i have before purchasing something i don't need right so makeup y'all first thing to go <laughs> number two of what's on the list of 10 things i no longer buy that has helped me save money is skincare skincare and makeup are two different things y'all skincare whoo the skincare industry y'all is booming all right and when it means booming it also means it it's costly okay i have had problematic skin especially when i was like in my teens and um when i was, when I was like 20 21 but with time i have realized that buying a bunch of skincare products was not helping me and matter of fact i was trying to test so many things on my on my skin which was damaging to my skin let me tell you clinic bought it neutrogena bought it proactive bought it none of those products helped me until i had to do some research and i'm like you know what if all those chemicals are not working let me see if anything natural would work for me so that being said i had to go ahead and switch out everything y'all i'm gonna tell you if i have to choose between makeup and skincare my money will go towards skincare y'all let me tell you and to be honest if you have problematic skin use natural products and when i say natural products i mean the actual plants and elements a lot of products that we see out there claim to be natural but they're not i only use three products on my skin i use the african black soap i use turmeric and i use aloe vera all those three things i can buy at my local stores and they're so cheap and they last for so long that i probably need to re-up on them probably like once every six months and also, no, hold on. The aloe vera, I gotta buy it probably once every two weeks. So it's a natural plant which helps with inflammation. Yeah, I got rid of my dark spots. I got rid of my acne with aloe vera. All right, so let me tell you what my routine is. My skincare routine is very, very simple. Whenever I have makeup on or if I don't have makeup on, I cleanse my skin first with my African black soap. Then I go ahead and put a turmeric mask. Once I'm done putting that turmeric mask and it has dried down, I go ahead and apply my aloe vera onto my skin. So let me tell you right now, those three products have been key to having a clean and clear and glowing skin. Y'all, if you guys, if you know me, my friends already know that my skin used to be problematic. Now I go out with that no foundation on, I'm good, I feel confident. And that's because I stopped using all those commercial products that you don't even know what's in them. Girl, I can't even pronounce the ingredients, girl. Okay, I can't even pronounce the ingredients to be honest but now i'm like you know what if i can't if i can't say it i won't buy it <laughs> you know but yeah y'all skincare i saved so much money so those are two things makeup skincare those two things save me hundreds per month i'm not even gonna lie hundreds per month okay all right so moving on to the third item i no longer buy y'all this one is going to be a little bit it's going to be a little bit sensitive you know because i know my budget friends out here on youtube still consume it but for me i had to kind of stop cold turkey i'm not even gonna lie and that is starbucks 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 you took my money starbucks but i'm not gonna lie starbucks literally helped me through my days in university but yeah it's expensive it adds up you know what is it called green tea matcha frappe caramel frappe all that frappe frappe stuff i used to buy it okay and oh i loved their um their cakes but y'all a whole freak small cake like this was like four dollars starbucks is gonna get you and they're gonna take your money that being said of course if you like starbucks consume it at your pleasure but for me i'm not gonna lie i'm the type of person y'all i got an obsessive personality so if i like something i'm gonna just keep eating it drinking it so for starbucks it had to go and y'all i'm not gonna lie it broke me out because it had too much sugar too much cream so it really did broke me out so I'm like, you know what? I can't be doing Starbucks anymore. Sometimes it's easy to fall in the hype of things, you know? I'm not gonna lie, Starbucks is just one of those coffee places that's very, very hyped up on social media. Once I realized I could do it at home for a fraction of the price, I stopped buying Starbucks. So I hope I didn't really bug anybody by saying that. But yeah, to each their own, to be honest, Starbucks, you're done taking my money. <laughs> Number four on the list, plastic water bottles. I'm not gonna lie. Whew. I don't know for some reason i felt like it was felt nicer or better or just i guess the convenience of having water bottles instead of like having to refill it all the time there was a period of time in which i was constantly buying water bottles and listen they would never they would never last in my house like they would be go gone like this right and should be told i've been more conscious as to what i can do as an individual in terms of, of helping the planet so 
water bottles y'all i don't buy them anymore i'm not gonna lie though i will say this sometimes but very very rarely if i were rushing and i forgot my water at home or whatever i would go ahead and get myself a bottle of water at the at the gas station you know but in terms of how i drink water and consume water on a day-to-day -day basis at home i just have my reusable cup and then i just go ahead and fill up water from my fridge so moving on to item number five y'all let me tell you how eating out has drained me. <laughs> Drain my bank account, y'all. Eating out used to be something I would do every other day. Okay? And there were times I would do it back to back to back to back. But y'all, eating out, y'all. Eating out, y'all. I know, I know we can relate that eating out is expensive. And y'all, you know, I would have those days where I would eat out and I would not even enjoy my food, you know? So that got me thinking, I'm like, you know what? I always have this in my mind. If I'm eating something, I'm like, okay, I'm sure I can make it. So I try to do the recipes online. And I'm like, yo, to be honest, it kind of tastes way better than eating out. Because you're putting time and effort into it and love. So it tastes better. But y'all, eating out, I have reduced that to probably once every two weeks at most. And to be honest, y'all, I enjoy cooking a lot. So that has saved me so much money. I make sure I only cook things that I know I'm going to eat. And like, I don't waste food, right? So eating out has been something that I really cut down, y'all. I enjoy cooking. Like, I enjoy cooking, y'all. Like, for me, cooking and cooking for others is a way for me to showcase my love for them. So cooking has been something that I've always done, even when I was younger, when I was a child. So I do like, you know trying new recipes and sometimes i'm like you know what i feel like eating this and that and instead of going ahead and buying it i'll just go ahead and make it look look up a recipe do it and y'all let me tell you when you put time and effort into something you're gonna enjoy it so if you have um, issues like eating out a lot what you could do is probably try making and recreating those recipes at home and let me tell you it's going to save you so much money so much money all right that's what it is y'all eating out i had to really cut down on that all right, so moving on to item number six. This is more of a service, and I'm gonna say, y'all, uh, if you know, you know, my nails, okay? My nails. I no longer go to the nail shop to get my nails done. Whenever you see my nails on, or whenever you see that I got nails on, y'all, it's because I did them myself at home. I got myself the kit from Amazon. I got like those tips from Amazon. And then I got myself a kit of gel nail polishes that I could go ahead and just switch out every now and then. I believe I spent about $65 to get myself the nail tips, a kit of nail gel polishes, um, some rhinestones, some glitter, uh, y'all, the lamp, let me tell you, no, the lamp, hold on, the lamp, I think I got it for like $20, but let me tell you, a total of maybe like $70, $75, dollars $75 for a whole kit that's going to serve me for the rest of the year and more, y'all, it's cheaper than one trip to the nail salon okay y'all i'm not gonna lie i loved and enjoyed the whole experience of going to the nail salon you know and just like getting pampered getting my nails done and doing a whole mani pedi but the truth is for me it did not work simply because i like like having my nails on when i'm filming when i'm recording but after that y'all whenever it comes to like real life and me having to like run my errands and getting things done i'd rather not have them on so after getting them done at the nail shop i'll get irritated i'm like okay like you know i kind of want to take them off but you can't take them off because i'm like i spent so much money on them so it'd be like a lot of back and forth but these y'all i'm able to take them off and put them back on as often as i desire because i use sticky tabs i don't use glue i use sticky tabs okay let me see if i can show you okay they're, yeah they're right here i use sticky tabs right so these allow allow me to put them on whenever and they last for a few days if i want to keep them for a few days or i can take them off right after okay and whenever you get these sticky tabs they come in a pack of i think 500 pieces which is going to last you for at least like i don't even know how many 20 sets 30 sets depending on how often you use them all right so y'all now i no longer get them done and honestly i like the ability of being able to switch my colors whenever i want however often i want without feeling guilty of you know just paying for them and not being able to switch it out if i wanted to right another thing i would say once you go ahead and do the whole design 
you are able to reuse them over and over again so you can just put them to the so basically what I do y'all I have a container in which I keep all of my acrylic right so all my acrylics I keep them in there whenever I feel like I want to go for that color I can go ahead and go for it but unlike the nail shop once you cut them off it's done for you can reuse them but these y'all you can reuse them over and over and over again so that saves you money saves you time if you feel like you need to go somewhere just go ahead and put on whatever color you're vibing and you're good to go so basically y'all getting my acrylic nails done at the nail salon is no longer a service I get that Okay. Let me tell you, the amount of money I save just by switching, it's a lot. All right, so moving on to the next item I no longer buy, which has helped me save money, is what? Number seven, trendy clothes, outfits, and apparel. Y'all. Y'all know what I'm talking about. All this fast fashion, y'all, it's so hard to keep up. And once I realize, I'm like, to be honest, Kubu, you don't need to keep up with it. Just use what you have and make sure you have staples i have saved so much money i have realized like i have a certain style i get my staples and and that works more than fine for me truth be told i used to buy clothes probably or go shopping at least once or twice every month and it adds up it does add up and i realized like i it looks nice in pictures but then when you get it, it doesn't even it does it's not it doesn't give what it's supposed to give you know so i'd be super disappointed or it would not fit because you know and i just realized i would buy so many items and so many clothes apparels that i would not need purses y'all purses purses shoes jackets hoodies tops skirts dresses y'all did I, I bought them all, okay? So realizing that I did not need as many clothes and that I started realizing what my style, my sense of style was, I would focus on my staples and really figure out the attires that would work for me and that I enjoyed wearing. And I would not focus as much as like, you know, what the trendy items were. Cause if you're trying to keep up with the trend, y'all, you might be able to keep up with the trend, but you'll fall short financially, okay? It's a lot out there. It is a lot. So just figure out what's important for you. And this is what I did. Then I realized I'm like, I don't need to be buying every single thing that's popping out here. You know, I have my staples and that's that. I don't go out of my way to keep up with the trends because they're not keeping up with me. <laughs> but yeah, y'all. Trendy clothes, apparels, no longer buy them. All right, y'all. So moving on to number eight. This next one, I have cut down drastically. And those are subscriptions. Y'all it's hard to keep up with a bunch of subscriptions and you know what's crazy like sometimes you don't even realize that you even have subscriptions linked to your account until you go through your back statements you're like oh snap i have this this that that it adds up well imagine having to keep up with music subscriptions makeup subscriptions tv subscriptions software subscriptions y'all there is so many subscriptions out there i i cut my subscriptions down to probably like 90 percent okay i had like 10 or 11 subscriptions, I cut them down. I only have two right now. That includes Canva, which is for my business, okay? And Netflix. Those are the only two subscriptions I have. I cut that Spotify, Apple Music, um, Ipsy, uh, Boxercharm. Y'all, so many subscriptions that I have. Patreon, y'all, so many subscriptions I had. I cut them down. I just, it was, it was too much to keep up. It just was, honestly, it got overwhelming. And I'm like, I found myself not even really using the products and the services. So when you realize you can live without those items, y'all, that's when you're like, you know what, let me save my coins. And you'll realize that it's not even that necessary, right? So subscriptions, y'all, I saved probably at least, I could say close to $100 just by cutting down my subscriptions. Y'all, it adds up, if not more, if not more. So now, like I said, I only have Canva, which is for my business, Netflix, that's it. So I'm gonna say, y'all been disappointing us with some dutty shows and movies. I don't really like what I'm watching lately. So if it's not serving me, I'm cutting it off too, to be honest. So that's that. <laughs> Subscriptions. So number nine on the list that I no longer buy, which has saved me so much money. Technology. And when I say technology, y'all, I'm referring to being the first person out there in the line. Apple.com. Not Apple.com, but in the line outside of Apple's door. 
getting the newest iPhone 14. Y'all, you cannot keep up. If you choose to, that's okay, but y'all, imagine paying 1500 upfront for a new piece of technology while the current one that you're currently using is more than functional. Let me tell you, social media is gonna get you messed up, y'all. Social media is gonna make you buy things you don't need just to, just to what? Just to keep up with people and society. I'm okay with not having to keep up with society. I'm, I'm okay with just being in my own lane, getting the things I need to get done, focusing me, myself, and I. Like, I'm okay with that. It's okay. It's okay not to have the newest iPad. It's okay not to have the newest Apple Watch. It's okay not to have the newest Samsung if you're an Android user, you know? We're Apple over here, but I'm just saying. Uh, it's okay not to have the newest iPhone. That's okay. So sometimes you do find yourself in a state where you feel like you want to upgrade, but it's an excuse. You just want to get the newest tech, you know? So that's when you get a battle with yourself, but like, you don't need those items. You really don't, right? And I'm super grateful that I have undertaken this financial journey, y'all, because I'm not going to lie. Like, I've been more cautious and I've been more aware of my purchasing habits lately. If you know, I'm currently saving for an iPad. The only one I went to the Apple store, bought it all right. But now I'm saving for it, which is also going to give me time to really assess whether it's something that I need for my business or if it's something that I want. You know so by giving yourself time to save up for an item is definitely going to also help you gauge how bad you need it you will never find me outside of the apple store waiting in line for the newest iphone <laughs> never okay and it's hard like you know you need to be mindful of what you're doing make sure that you're doing it for yourself and if that makes you happy then go for it it's okay splurge on yourself you know but just always remember be cautious of what you're doing and why you're doing it you know so yeah all right y'all so the last item i have stopped buying whew, and i think that this one is a little bit more specific to myself but y'all i stopped buying monthly contacts okay the amount of money i have wasted by buying monthly contacts is ridiculous y'all i remember i'd be buying monthly contacts like y'all probably twice as much as i needed to simply because I had this bad habit of using my contacts, you know, putting them, cleaning them off with a solution, putting them in the container and forgetting to put the liquid in and to close it back up. So it would always dry out, y'all. It will always dry out. If you're not familiar with monthly contacts, there's meant to be contacts that you wear for your vision, which are supposed to last you for a whole month, okay? So basically for about 30 days use. So I will buy that because I'm like, you know what, it's cheaper and it stretches the time in which I can use them for. But y'all, yeah, I would always find myself playing myself. But for some reason, my attention span is like this. I will always forget to go back and put the solution back into the container in which my contacts are left in and put the solution in. So next day it dries down. And if it's dry, it's not recommended for you to go ahead and reuse it, you know? One day I got tired, I was on my last pair I'm like, you know what? I went to my doctor's office, got myself dailies. So now those dailies, you can, once you put them on once, you don't get to reuse them. They're just meant to be for one time use. So now with the dailies, I don't have to worry about making sure they're in the liquid solution. As soon as I put them on and I'm done with the day, I can go ahead and put them right off, throw them in the garbage and I'm good to go. But yeah, that being said, y'all, that's pretty much it. Those are 10 things I no longer buy that has helped me save money. Ching ching. <laughs> That's pretty much it for today's video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Yeah, let me know in the comments below, y'all. Amongst those 10 items, let me know if there's any of them that you resonated with that you no longer buy, which has saved you some money. And let me know if there's any other topics you'd like for me to address or talk about on my channel. I'll be more than happy to do so. And as always, y'all, thank you so much for supporting me. I really, really, really appreciate it. It means the world to me. And that being said, if you made it to the end of this video, you already know. Let's see today. You know what? Let's do something different because I got my makeup done, y'all. Just leave me any type of makeup related emoji in the comments. And yeah, I would know that you made it all the way till the end. As always, I hope y'all stay blessed and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Until then, stay blessed. Bye.